What if Goten and Trunks was locked inside of the time chamber? Our story takes place during the Boo Saga, when Piccolo blew up the door as it left the three being stuck, as it was being Gotenks, Boo, and Piccolo. Now this time, Boo cannot stream a portal out there, so they are trapped inside, as during this time, Boo would be stunned and not caring to kill them currently as he's going insane, having the idea that there's going to be no candy for him to eat. Now currently, Goten would then defuse and he was crying, they were worried about it. Piccolo accepts his fate as he's like, what does it matter anyway, we're all screwed. Uh, even if Boo escapes, we couldn't even beat him. Now, Piccolo knows that the Z Fighters will soon free them, as it will be longer than 24 hours. So they do think that over time they will use the Dragon Balls, or Popo can also make a new door and lead them out. As the Z Fighters wait for 24 hours, pass, and nothing happens. Goku works with the Kais, and he actually gets his life back by Elder Kai. And he sees the door was locked and it was broken. It opens up to nothing, as he thinks Piccolo or someone must have destroyed it. Now, when Boo went in, as Goku clenched his fist in anger, he failed them. As Vegeta will be brought back to life as well, he claims it doesn't matter, as they can ask Popo for help. As he was standing there, he states that the door can be reopened, but it does take one month exactly to do so. Or they could use the Dragon Balls, but they don't have that right now, and they worry that there's no point because Piccolo could even be dead in there. Because remember, Majin Buu still locked inside of there with them, and Majin Buu is still way more powerful than both Gotenks and Piccolo. So, 31 years. They would be trapped inside for 31 years. Popo would soon, as a month would go by, and it would be torturous to Vegeta and Goku, but they have no choice. As Popo would then make a new door, Goten and Piccolo and Trunks and Majin Buu, they were trapped in there for 31 years. Now, how would they survive? Now, remember, this is a what if, so take it with a grain of salt. Now, during the, that month, aka those 31 years, Majin Buu would have been beaten by them anyways. As I'm just going to say for what if purposes, grain of salt, Fat Buu was saved and he can actually create food by his magic. So they can live off of that anyways. And Piccolo just needs water of some kind to survive. So the three know that you know they, they will come out one day. So why not just train until then? As one month would pass, Popo would fix the door. As it opens, the, the four walk out. Piccolo Ma and Majin Buu looking the exact same pretty much. But Goten and Trunks was the biggest difference. They were well older men. Both being nearly 40 years old. Almost as old as Goku and Vegeta was, as Goku and Vegeta stare in shock at the two Saiyans. Goten and Trunks had tears in their eyes as they hugged their fathers tightly, as Goku and Vegeta hugged them back, happy to see they're okay, as Goku smiled seeing Piccolo, who looks around the same, since Namek can live up to nearly 500 years old, so Piccolo's perfectly fine. Now they also see the power that the two sons have grown so much stronger. Now, Goku then would then get serious and mad, seeing Fat Buu sitting there. As Goten and Trunks would stop their fathers, explaining all that happened, explaining that he's a good guy now. And as they all explain all of that, after all that's over, they then get the Dragon Balls, which they do have, and they would wish everybody back. As everyone was happy to be brought back to life, up until Bulma and Chi-Chi see their two sons, who, remember, they were, as the last time that they seen them, they were kids. Now they're fully grow grown men around their age. Explaining that they can still use the one wish, Bulma and Chi Chi demanded that they get younger, but they don't want to lose their power and they don't want to be kids, so they agree on being around 17 to 18 years of age for both, so they're in a full grown adult body still. And just as strong as everything went normal, Goku wants to see how strong the two have gotten. Same with Vegeta. As the two smirk, they would burst into Super Saiyan 3 on their own. As remember, this is Goten and Trunks. They are extremely untapped potential. They were the youngest Super Saiyans pretty much. So both of them would burst into Super Saiyan 3 on their own as they have a power or even greater than this. As they learned a lot from Majin Buu considering he does have the Supreme Kai's within him, over the 30 years alongside Piccolo and Kami and Nails also knowledge, they learned a power beyond that. As they both yell and charge, the power shaking around them, they both turned into Super Saiyan 4s, shocking Goku and Vegeta at their raw power. Power scale-wise, Goten and Trunks have amazing untapped potential, uh, seems most half Saiyans do so. Imagine training for 31 years straight. They're both equal in power, so both in Super Saiyan 4 would be around the strength of Super Saiyan Blue Goku when he fought against Frieza. That is how strong Goten and Trunks are. For training in the Hyperball Time Chamber non-stop, and Boo can heal them for over 31 years. Not much of a long shot. 
So they're beyond strong together. As they sparred with their fathers, of course, Goku and Vegeta lost, but they were amazed at their power. As they both had a smirk and thumbs up, as a year passes, Beerus would then awaken and he had a dream about a Super Saiyan God. As most of the events would happen the same, all up until he visits Goku on King Kai's planet. With this, Goku has a tail, as instead of Super Saiyan 3, this Goku turned into a Super Saiyan 4. His brand new power he unlocked learning from Piccolo and of course his sons uh, and of course his son and also Trunks taught them how to actually use Super Saiyan 4 and to do it. Because of course Goku and Vegeta want to learn this power. If this is more powerful than Super Saiyan 3, it's the next level, of course they want to learn it. So Goku turned into Super Saiyan 4 with the help of Piccolo also helping out with the form too. This Goku is of course much, much, much stronger than he was in the original, actually giving Beerus a, pr a pretty good fight. But Goku would still lose and Beerus would still go to Earth. Power scale wise, I think that this Super Saiyan 4 Goku is actually a little bit weaker than he would have been if he was in Super Saiyan God. Just because Super Saiyan God is a bigger boost. Anyway, and also the no God key doesn't really help out since he can't sense Beerus. And also Beerus is that OP anyway. So, they would all be at the party, all that would happen the same, and they would go to Earth where Vegeta does have Super Saiyan 4. And when Beerus has a tantrum, Goten and Trunks go Super Saiyan 4, shocking Beerus at their power. As the two would fight, they would actually give Beerus an amazing fight, alongside Vegeta would be helping. As Beerus had enough, true, they were strong, but they were not the Super Saiyan God, because there was no God Key, and you know they weren't giving him a real battle even though they were stronger it's still not enough because he wants to see a god not some primal ape you know so goku would arrive and after he was knocked out by beerus he would wake up and so go to earth all that would happen the same and they would using shenron they would figure out how to do it as they offer goku um since it they can't go into their highest power and they can just give all their power and energy into goku's body which might kill him but it's a chance they got, and Goku is the best fighter, so why not do it? And also because it's Goku. So, Goku was in Super Saiyan 4 when they did it, and he used Super Saiyan God, mixing it with Super Saiyan 4. As the Saiyan's apex form, Goku needed Super Saiyan 4 to even handle the tremendous energy inside of him. As they fought, he was actually able to make Pierce even bleed a little bit and give him a real battle. But sadly, Goku would still lose the form, but some of the god power stays within him. As Beerus was truly impressed by the mortals, he would leave Earth promising to come back and fight again, and peace was brought back to Earth. Now, in terms of power scaling wise, how powerful is Goku? He is actually still not as strong as Goten and Trunks, because they're still training, they're not like Gohan, so they're still actually stronger than they were before as it's been a year, but Goku's now able to catch up. Obviously, Vegeta and Goku are gonna go train with Whis alongside Goten and Trunks, as they are old enough and they do wanna go learn God Key as well. So, now, all up in space, a frost demon was brought back to life and he swore revenge. We're just gonna gloss over the Frieza arc and one thing that I'm gonna say is this Frieza actually does train longer as he figures out how powerful the Saiyans have become. And that is it for this What If, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this What If is not crazy long, but I wanted to start out something new, and I hadn't really seen anybody do a What If for Goten and Trunks and Piccolo and Boo if they were trapped inside of the Hyperball Time Chamber yet, and I just wanted to test the water and throw the What If out there. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Look out for the manga, as that is set to release in the next month plus. So we're working on the panels. Uh, I've already showed you guys some art that we did. I have a fully custom band and they're actually going to be making the songs and themes for this thing where you have legitimate voice actors. And what I want to do with this manga is I want to make it to where how other YouTubers, which their mangas are absolutely phenomenal, they do it in a style to where they just talk over the characters and they explain what's happening. Some obviously do the voices, but that's really about it. What I want to do is I want to make it like actual dialogue of these characters speaking from the manga and have background effects, background music, uh, background noises, everything like that and better editing so you guys can actually just watch like a movie of some kind, even though it's in manga form. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. Let's reach 10,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for 3,000 subscribers, by the way. Y'all are the best. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you all later.